I'd like to call to order the April 5th, 2022 meeting, regular meeting of the Chino Valley Planning and Zoning Commission. Commissioner Welker. Oh, we got to do the pledge. Commissioner Welker, would you do the pledge for us tonight? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Squeaky chair. Looks like we have a full board tonight, so that part's done. Okay, we'll go to item C, the consent calendar. Is there anything on the consent calendar that the commission has any issue with? Okay, then I would entertain a motion. I make a motion to accept it as printed. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. I'll second. We have a fight for second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion is carried unanimously. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to move to item D, D1, designation F0721, a request by Jay Bates on behalf of Wright Homes LLC to replat track D, found within the Chino Meadows Unit 2 subdivision as a buildable lot for a new home, as opposed to attractive land. Parcel number is 3062477575. Alrighty. Good evening, Will. Chair, Vice Chair, and Commission. Will Denji, Senior Planner with the Town of Chino Valley. Again, before you, the request is a replat for Track B and the Chino Meadows Unit 2 subdivision in order to turn it uh, into a buildable lot. The applicant, Jay Bates, representative for Wright Homes, is in attendance this evening. So this item did go before the commission at last month's hearing. Uh, so just to recap what this, where the property is, it is 0 0.15 acres located at the north intersection of Cottonwood Lane and Porcupine Pass. It is part of the Chino Meadows Unit 2 subdivision, which extends to the north and to the west. To the east, you have Chino Meadows Unit 3 subdivision. The property is currently zoned uh, SR 0.16 the plat designation for the subdivision of this property is tract B, and the existing land use is currently vacant and is uh, the property is typically utilized by the neighbors to park vehicles. <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> when this item was presented at the March PNZ meeting, it was continued so staff could research an item of concern that was brought up by the vice chair uh, regarding the retiring of the uh, or verbiage of the retirement of the SR 0.16 zoning district. Uh, and the proposal before you. <clears throat> Following the continuation, the town staff and town attorney and the vice chair had a discussion regarding the concerns. The conclusion was drawn that based on the town's current definition of lot as seen before you, in conjunction with the purpose statement found within the SR 0.16 zoning district, uh, both of those together, nothing would prohibit this tract of being replatted from a tract of land to a buildable lot. With that being said, staff is recommending that the Planning and Zoning Commission forward a recommendation of approval to track B as a buildable lot as presented, subject to the staff report and information provided during this hearing and conditions of approval in attachment A. We'll happily open it up for questions or discussion from the commission. Anybody here on the commission have questions for Will? Okay, just I'm going to just ask something sure. just to be very clear. So the town attorney has agreed that by doing this, we are not opening the door for any other pot shooting on other properties in town. That is correct. Okay. Thank you, Will. No um, would the applicant like to come up and speak? My name is Jay Bates with Wright Homes. Um, yeah, this is a this is just what we're pl planning to do: put a new home on the property. So, all right, I think it'd be a good addition to the community. Anybody have any questions for the applicant? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to open the public portion of the meeting for this item only. We have a huge crowd tonight, so we will stick with our three-minute rule. And uh, if you come up to the microphone, please state your name. I'll pick you out if you raise your hand and everybody gets an opportunity to speak. 
Okay. Would anybody like to come up and speak? I have two, okay. two here. Um, Barbara Salaya. 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 Uh, yes. Besides the. You might pull that microphone Barbara. down by your mouth. My go ahead name and pull is... it down. There you go. My, okay. Hey. That keeps the audio visual guy from marching out here and yelling at us. Barbara Salaya. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the elms are gone, which is nice, which was my only concern at the time. But then I was thinking that with the, the price of this house for what it's going to be worth, will it affect anybody in the neighborhood with their older pl uh, places? So your concern is that this price, this new home may affect the surrounding property values? Well, I would like to know. Okay. Well, I have no we idea. We may not be able to answer that right this second, but it, is that your concern then? Uh, yes. Okay. Besides, Any? okay, the elms are taken care of, which is fantastic. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else? Um, we, won't, we can't answer right now. We have to go through a bit of a okay. process here. It's been three minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, you can stand up there for three minutes if you want. Okay. Well, yes, it is the uh, the second concern. Like, how I, maybe I should reword it. How how would it affect the price value of the older houses around with a newer version of a manufactured home? Does that make more sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We'll, we'll try to find that out for you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, one second. Anybody else like to speak? Rachel. Rachel Ferno, nice to see you guys again. Um, I just wanted to come before because I was present when this uh, item went on the agenda last time and I knew um, Barbara's concerns and I just want to kind of praise the town and the commission for giving the time. I think Frank, you maybe, you know, went out there and knocked those trees down with your truck or something that night. I don't know, but it's really nice to see everyone come together to support a community member's concerns related to the project. So I just think that was great. And I think you guys should be praised for it. So good job, Frank. Thank you. Anybody else? I don't have any more cards. I don't have any more cards, but okay. there's someone else that didn't fill one out. No? You didn't have to, you don't have to fill out a card if you'd like to come up and speak about this particular item. All righty, I'm going to close the public portion of the meeting. Sir, give me one second and you'll, you'll be coming up right next. So does the commission have any questions for town staff on this? Just one question for Frank. Um, there was one public comment received that was a written comment. And she, uh, Lori Farah claimed that the work that's been done on the property since the last hearing, um, that it's made a difference in the drainage of the road. That's quoted from her statement. I just wanted to, is that just pre? You mean removing of the? Volunteer trees. Do you want me to read her statement? No, not the trees. I, I may have it here. Um, so let me. It's on page three of nine. Um, second comment. I think this comment was available at the last meeting, also, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and we discussed drainage did you said at that time. So yeah, I don't know that, that would we, make. It I don't know that we did. Yeah, we did. I brought it up. So okay. If that's old and we already addressed it, then I think we're okay. All right. Yeah, it's dated February 14th. Mm -hmm. Are we good with that or, or yeah, Frank, are you still looking up things? Uh, the the statement that they're getting more water down their driveways than before, 
I don't know how to verify or verify that statement. Um, there's nothing substantially changed in this neighborhood for decades. Yeah, so I wouldn't this, think you one lot one. is de minimis as far as the drainage goes. You don't see this one lot changing drainage or no, anybody else's property. No, sir. Not not substantially. It it's minimal compared to the amount of rooftops in that entire neighborhood that were there before the land was developed. So correct me if I'm wrong, but usually when the billing permits applied for, there's a grading and drainage that has to be gone over with through the billing department, which if there was an issue, it could be brought up at that point. At the That's correct. At the subdivision level, the town does not require uh, grading and drainage permits typically for single family residential units. But it still is supposed to traditionally leave the property at the same point that it always did. Is that correct? Correct. That's state law, I believe, as far okay. as historic and uh, rates and, and places. Is that and get inspected by the town? We, the, we inspect the building when it's built with the, through the building permit process. So we'll, we address it if there's any deviations. This lot is fairly flat. There's no drainage tracks or channels through the property. It's a normal what I would say a normal lot, typically with sheet sheet type drainage running into the street. If the streets were perfect, they would have roadside ditches and those are few and far between in that neighborhood. So, so just from a, without studying it out closely, there isn't really any apparent deep gullies or anything that shows significant drainage that has to be addressed and taken care of and directed. Mr. Chair, that's, that's correct. This, the size of this lot in relation to the whole subdivision, I would say drainage is, is a, it's a legal term, but de minimis, not very important. Okay. In the big scheme of things. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions for town staff? Okay. With the applicant would like to come up, maybe you could address that question that we had. Thanks Barbara for the question. Uh, typically, we've done um, probably 10 or 12 houses in Chino Meadows 2. Uh, we've done some in Chino Meadows 1, and we've done several in um, the community over in Prescott Valley, which is Katy Circle, Romero Circle West, in that community there. Uh, typically, when we bring a new house in, it elevates the surrounding homes and, and elevates the, the worth of those homes as well. So it's probably a good thing. We're starting to kind of change the community over, bringing new houses in. And, they get more money for the houses around, so it works out pretty well. Okay. Just as a comment, traditionally, when a new home is built in the neighborhood, it does raise the values of the property as a general rule, not always, but in this case, it probably is going to help more than it would hurt, in my opinion. So um, I'm going to close the public portion of this meeting, and I would entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, I move to approve the replat of track B as buildable lot as presented subject to the staff report and information provided during this hearing and the conditions of approval in attachment A as written. I'll second it. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? They would like a roll call vote, please. Commissioner Welker? Yes. Commissioner Penn? Yes. Commissioner Matters? Yes. Commissioner Schweitzer? Yes. Commissioner Somerville? Yes. Vice Chair Pasiak? No. Chair Merritt? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so traditionally we've asked the nay votes to explain their um, reasoning for the town council so they know what our thinking is. Okay, it, when the subdivision was originally, when the subdivision was originally platted, it was a tract. Um, I do understand that the definition that we have uh, for lot in the existing UDO is kind of nebulous as to uh, being able to define a tract. Uh, that being said, no one knows why it was not classified as a buildable lot when it was originally subdivided. And I, I just hesitate to um, change it to a buildable lot when it was originally a tract and 
no one can define why it was not developed as a lot originally. Does that make sense? It does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and the reason we're here is because you've been very cautious about stuff like that. And as the chairman up to this point of the board, I appreciate that a lot. Keeps us out of the weeds. Okay, so that item is done. We're going to move to um, at item E, which is action items. And E1 is election of officers. So I have been through this once before. If you don't mind if I take the lead a little bit. Perfect. So every so often we get to elect officers. Fortunately, last time I had the honor of serving as chair. Um, the process is, and I'm going from memory on Robert's rules of order, is that I'll seek a nomination, not personally as the chair, to be a chair, but just if there's anybody that has a nomination for a chairperson. And then at that point, um, we'll make a decision on some things after that. So um, do we have anybody that would nominate somebody for a chair position? Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd nominate Gary Pasiak for vice chair. Can I make two? You can, but for right now, we have to do one at a time. Okay. I'll second. Okay, we have to do the chairperson first. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Chair, I'll make a nomination to nominate uh, Chuck Merritt yourself as chair. I'll, I'll second. second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Um, at this point, I have to recuse myself, and Gary takes over the meeting so it doesn't look like I officiate over my <laughs> election or non election. So I'm handing off leadership to Mr. Commissioner Pasiak. Okay. Are there any other nominations for chair? If not, the, the uh, item is closed, and we'll vote on the nominee. All in favor of. Uh, Chuck Merrick being chair member, chair aye. one more year. Say aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a little quick, but <laughs> anyways, all kidding aside, it's been an honor to serve as the chairman of the commission. I think we have a great group of people up here and um, appreciate everybody's spirit of cooperation and trying to stay moving forward with this in a good manner. So at that point, um, I'll take over the meeting again. Thank you. And we have to open up the nomination for the vice chair. So yeah. would anybody like to nominate somebody for vice chair? Mr. Chair, I'll make a nomination of Gary Pasiak for vice chair. Okay, thank you. One nomination. And just a personal note, I think you both do a fantastic job. That's why I'm not hesitating to make nominations. Thank you. Thank you. I'll so, second. Okay, we have that. Do we have anybody else that would to nominate? Okay, so we'll close the nomination process and we do have a second. Um, so we have a nomination for Commissioner Vice Chair Pasiak to be continuous position as vice chair. Um, and we have a second, a motion and a second. So um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No opposed. So election of officers is done for this period of time. Thank you very much. And I appreciate everybody's service up here. Um, just as a comment to the community, um, we really appreciate the community participating in these meetings. It's very important. Um, and the young lady there that spoke about the community coming together and dealing with the trees that is the way things should work. Somebody makes a suggestion, somebody steps up to the plate and the problem gets solved. I'm, I'm really grateful to be part of that process and would like to do more of that. So thank you. Okay, so we're moving forward to item F, uh, which is information items and F1 is staff and it's uh, information on the prior cases that we've sent to the city council. Good evening again, Chair and Commission. So we had three items that went before the Commission last session or last meeting. Um, the one I'm sure you all remember was the Zangre RV Park uh, that was continued by Council. Uh, the applicant is seeking to do some more community outreach or do community outreach and um, a traffic study to help see if that will sway one way or another um, Council's decision on what they do with that project. 
The second one was the rezoning of the lot south, or sorry, the parcel south into town along four and a half south for the soccer complex. It was a commercial heavy PAD RV park. They rezoned it to commercial light so they can combine it. That was approved unanimously. Good. And then the last one was the CVID rezoning the corner of North Road, West Road, sorry, <laughs> North Road 1 East and uh, on, on the inner east, what is it? East Road, East Road One North. I apologize. <laughs> I've been here four years and I still can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, not reading was, some of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and that one was passed by council as well. Thank and you. And that is all staff has there. Question, Appreciate it. Question for you yes. on the RV park. Yes. What changes would constitute that being sent back to PNZ versus just going back to council? So it's up to the council whether they want to send it back. So there is no set. Not really. I mean, if they look at it and it's and it's the exact same thing minus two units, it's the same project. Yeah, I agree. You know, if their access is different, if they've increased or decreased significantly, if they've removed landscaping, if they've reoriented it with different access points, that's the kind of stuff that would send it back to you guys. Very well. Any other questions? All right. We got something here that says F2 commission. I think we're good. And then F3 public. Anything with that? Okay. And then our favorite motion which is to adjourn the meeting to prepare for our work session. We have a motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. A second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Great. Thank you, folks. We have a study session. You're all welcome to stay. You can't comment on anything. Um, I guess that's the rule. So We'll get set up. We're going to actually come down in this area down here to study out some items, which is recreational vehicle parks, temporary uses, subdivision code, and guest houses. Thank you.